Oh, is Stella going to play? Yeah, she, she likes that little bridge. She wants something to go underneath it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? So I'm here with Boo. It is 8.40 a.m. Good morning, Splash. The cats have not had their breakfast yet, but today is a special day for the cats. Today we are celebrating Stella and Boo's eighth birthday. So I have no idea when Stella and Boo were actually born. There's Stella. So I know Splash and Simba were born sometime around the very end of April, early May of 2016. And at that time, Stella and Boo were very young cats. They most likely weren't even a year old. They might have been just around a year old, but I think they were a little bit less than a year old. And based on their personalities, because they both have kind of split personalities, <laughs> Hey Boo, he's been rubbing up on my hand. Because they both have kind of split personalities, I kind of feel like they are Geminis. And Gemini season is May 21st through June 21st, or roughly around those dates. So we're gonna celebrate them today. Because today is June 21st, and it is the longest day of the year. And for me, this is always one of the kind of like the saddest days of the year because days start getting shorter again. I love summer, it's my favorite season of all. I love really long days, I love sunshine, I love warm weather, and the fact that the days are gonna start getting shorter now is just a total bummer. So that's why I normally, you know, dread this day, but we're gonna celebrate Stella and Boo's birthday today, right Stella? So now we're gonna make it a happy day, right Stella? It's gonna be a really good day because it's your birthday celebration and Boo's birthday celebration. And we're gonna have a very good day, right? And we're gonna start our day with a canned food platter. So when I went shopping for cat supplies last week, I was thinking like, what would the cats really want for their birthday? like? what would be really special for them, something that they don't normally have. And I thought that they would really like some, let's just say junk food, even though it's not totally junk food, because I know that on birthdays and holidays, I like to splurge and eat all kinds of foods that I normally don't eat the rest of the year. So I thought I would make this a special day for them. Hey Simba. And they are going to have a Friskies platter. So I bought all different varieties of Friskies for them. Only the pate varieties because those are the lower carb varieties. Even though they have rice in them compared to the other varieties of Friskies, they are not nearly as bad as the other varieties that have like corn, wheat, soy, all that stuff. The pate doesn't have any of that. So that's what we're having, Stella. We're having Friskies. Are you happy? When they lived outside, when they first started coming around my house, that's what I used to feed them. This is what their plates look like. So we're having five different varieties of Friskies. They're having like one eighth of a can of each. So it ends up to be like half of a can. If they eat all of this, then they could have a little bit more. Um, I opened up some purple churros and there's some purple churros around the plate. And then there's a sprinkling of their favorite freeze-dried chicken. And everyone has the same platter. So they should be happy with this. This is how I cut up the cans. I just gave them their food and it was so funny because they were trying to share a platter. And I was like, no, you guys each get your own platter. You don't have to share the platters. It looks like some of Stella's food got pushed around because, you know, it had like two platters in each hand. And on the platters, the food can slide around. So we'll see what they eat, but they've all just dove into their food. Yes. 
So when it comes to homemade raw food, Boo's usually like the slowest eater. But right now with this canned food, he's like the fastest eater. Boo is really, really enjoying his meal, so I think this was a good call. And there's Stella, she's enjoying her meal also. I don't know why Boo's tail's in her, in her space. Simba moved over to splash his plate and Boo moved over to Simba's plate. This is Boo's plate. So if everything goes well today and nobody gets sick or vomits or anything, then this could be a really good plan for holiday celebrations for the cats because it really would be equivalent to, you know, humans celebrating holidays with foods they would not normally eat, you know, on a regular basis. It gives them something to look forward to. The same way that not having crunchies on a daily basis gives them something to look forward to when they see the automatic feeders. When they see the automatic feeders come out, they know that they're gonna be getting crunchies out of the feeders and they actually you know, get excited for that and they look forward to that because it's something special, because they're not getting it, you know, otherwise. So Boo cleared his platter off and now he's clearing Simba's platter off. And Simba cleared Splash's platter off and Stella's working on hers. So Boo has been licking his platter clean. Now he's going to finish whatever Stella left on her platter. I'm happy this meal was a success. There's Simba. He's taking a bath. There's Stella. She's taking a bath also. Look at what's going on here. So last night, I found the ball that goes in this turbo scratcher. And I also found the ball that goes in this turbo scratcher. So last night, both of these had balls in them. And today, none of them do. And when I say last night, I mean like around midnight. And right now, it's 9 a.m. So it only took the cats nine hours to get the balls out of these. I don't know why they do that because they love playing with them. Was it you, Richard? Good morning, Richard. Was it you? Did you do that, Richard? I don't think it was Richard. I think it was Sammy. And maybe little Eva. Could have been Goldie. Who knows? Maybe it was Richard. Look at that. I just found one of the balls. That was very easy. Look at that. As soon as I put it in there, Sammy comes running. Now the other ball is yellow. Also, last night, I ordered more of these cardboard replacements for the inside. And I got some new toys for the cats coming. The downstairs cats are having what's left of those cans of Friskies. I also opened a large can of Wellness for them. So we'll see what they eat. I don't know why, but three of them are not eating right now. Okay, here comes Ziggy. Nancy just jumped to the top of the cat tower and Richard wants to play. So I'll come back in a little while and see where they're at. It is 2 p.m. It is about 2 p.m. and here's Ringo. He's relaxing in a cat tower by the window. And I'm just about to go outside and scrub two of the litter boxes. So tomorrow is cat management day. I'm trying to do that once a week. Um, but last week I had so much cat stuff to manage on cat management day that it was a really, really long day. And this week I decided that I was going to go and buy like the cat stuff that I needed today instead of tomorrow. Because if I went and bought the stuff tomorrow and then 
you know, I had to make raw food or put the stuff away. It was just like too much to do in one day. So I decided that the day before will be the day that I run whatever errands I need to run and purchase the cat litter, buy whatever ingredients I need for cat food, stuff like that. So this morning I went out and ran those errands and I also am trying to do that in the morning when there's no traffic because Lately, if I try to do anything in the afternoon, I just waste so much time sitting in traffic, which is crazy around here. So I got it done in the morning and not much traffic at all. And I got some food for a birthday dinner tonight for the cats. I'm gonna cut up some food. They're gonna have some chunky raw food. Um, and I got some Shibas on sale just to have because the cats like to have that as dessert. I got some meaty sticks for Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba for their birthday celebration. And I also got them some shrimp. So they're going to have some shrimp at their party tonight. So that'll be fun. And I looked at the weather forecast. And the next six or seven days, there's like 70 to 80% chance of rain every single day. So that's why today I am going to do the litter box scrubbing. It worked out really well last week just doing two of the litter boxes. So I'm gonna do two of them today, get them out of the way, and then then I think we're good. Here's Ziggy, she's been staring at me. And here's Richard's back half. He's been meowing at me. There's Goldie. No one really enjoyed their breakfast today, so I think they're all kind of all kind of hungry. And actually, they're all in this room right now. There's Nancy. She's on top of the sofa looking out of this window. Sammy is sitting in a box. There's Goldie. There's Richard. There's Ziggy. We saw Ringo in the cat tower. And there's little Eva. I still have to put the litter away. And I got a few package deliveries today, so I have to open those up. This is what is left of their breakfast. As you can see, they did not eat at least half of it. It looks like they did not eat the wellness, and that was the turkey pate, the wellness turkey pate. I don't know why, but none of the cats like that wellness pate anymore. They loved it for a while, and of course I stocked up on it, and now Nobody wants to eat it, so I might end up having to give it away. It's 4.15 p.m. Look at Sammy. There's a bug on the other side of the door, like outside. At least that's the one that I saw her trying to eat. She's trying to eat a bug on the other side of the glass. Hey, Nancy. Nancy came to see what Sammy was meowing about. There's Ziggy. It's the Goldie girls minus Goldie. Where's Goldie? Here's Sammy and her favorite place to hang out in the afternoon. She loves hanging out on this chair. Hey Ziggy. Today I bought the cats a new toy when I was in the pet supply store. This is a turbo track. So it's basically like a turbo scratcher, but instead of having the scratcher in the middle, this is more like a cat it track. So I figured Sammy would love this because she loves the Turbo Scratcher. And I'm wondering if Stella Boo Splash and Simba might like this also. 
They're not really big fans of the Cadet track, but the ball in the Cadet track is more enclosed. And with the Turbo track, it's more exposed. So I'm wondering if that would make a difference. Maybe the cats would like it more. If the upstairs cats don't really like it that much, then I'm sure the kittens will like it because they love the Turbo Scratchers. So I'm going to put this together for them and we'll see what they think of it. I'm in the middle of putting it together and here's Simba. So my initial reaction when putting it together is that it feels like much cheaper than I thought it would be. Um, for some reason I thought it would be larger and these circular areas would be more similar to the size of a turbo scratcher, but it's much smaller than a turbo scratcher. And I also thought it would be um, kind of like the same heavier quality plastic than a turbo scratcher. It's not, or maybe just because, you know, this is thinner, maybe it feels like it's not. I just put it together for the cats. They're still going to come over and check it out. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this configuration because like the ball never goes above that this little bridge. See that? Yeah, I'm not too happy with that. Yeah. Okay, I am going to take this apart and do some other kind of configuration with it. So when I was looking at the box, I thought this configuration would be really good. This is called Scribble. But the problem with this configuration is the ball will come out either end, like there's no caps for the end. So that doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. Unless you put, unless you put the, uh, the higher part like on the ends, but the ball could still come right out. Hmm, I'll have to figure this one out. Okay, so I just turned it into a long squiggle and nobody wants to play with it. Here comes Splash. Splash, do you want to play with it? Yeah, nobody cares. There's Simba, Stella walked away, and Boo's in the hall. Nobody cares. So I'm going to redo it again. Okay, I just made the heart with it. Is anybody going to play with it? I think Stella's more interested in the box. Simba, you going to play with me? Oh, is Stella going to play? Yeah, she, she likes that little bridge. She wants something to go underneath it. I don't know if this thing is going to survive the kittens because like it's not put together very well like the way that these pieces snap together they're not very secure so I don't know I feel like they're gonna be able to tear it apart but we'll see what happens As you can see, it's not really a big hit with the cats. No. All right. Okay. I tried. It's like five minutes later and look what's going on. Simba has decided to lay inside of the new cat toy. Nobody wants to play with it, but he's happy laying inside of it. It's about 8 p.m. and this is what the cats are having for their dinner so far. So we have some cooked shrimp cut into pieces. We have a little bit of beef cut into pieces, some chicken cut into pieces, and then there's a chicken wing tip in the middle of each plate. Everyone has the same as far as Stella, Boo, Splash, and Simba are concerned. And we'll see if they eat this. I think Boo is really going to enjoy this because these are some of his favorite things. Splash might enjoy it 
I don't know about Stella, but we'll see. Okay, everyone has their food. And Boo's digging in right away. I knew he would. Simba's giving some things a try. Splash is smelling around. And, yep, Stella's going to walk away. Stella says, this is not food for a queen or a princess. She needs her pate. She's like, how dare you serve this to me? <laughs> I just moved it over for her. Maybe she'll taste something. Maybe she just didn't want to eat where she was before. But these larger chunks of food are good for their mouth and their teeth. And I've been mixing chunks like this into their homemade raw food. So I wanted to see what would happen if I served them a meal that is all chunks. Everyone's enjoying it so far. Boo's eating his beef. And Splash is eating the shrimp. I don't know what Simba's eating. Now, I'm also testing Simba with the beef because... Simba has a history of vomiting whenever he eats beef. So if he eats the beef and then vomits, then we know. Um, like it's a beef thing. Stella, why are you not eating? Do you want some freeze-dried chicken on it? You want some freeze-dried chicken on it? All right, I give everyone a little bit of freeze-dried chicken. So Stella is, I don't know what she's eating. Maybe she's just eating the freeze-dried off the top, but maybe she'll eat some of the stuff that's underneath it. Now, feeding them like chunks of meat like this usually takes them a bit longer to eat because they have to really chew it versus just, you know, swallow. Well, <laughs> so Simba ate all of his shrimp and beef and now he is stealing the shrimp off of Splash's plate. Splash might steal something off of Stella's plate. I'll give Stella some canned food if she doesn't end up eating any of this food. So Splash is now stealing off of Stella's plate. And Boo's just happily chewing away. I don't know if anyone is going to eat the wingtip in the middle because I've tried feeding those to the cats in the past and they've kind of rejected them. But Boo might. Who really likes the beef, so I might give him some more. What's going on here? Is Stella actually eating something? Oh, she's eating the beef? Stella's eating the beef. Now Boo's eating off of Simba's plate. He's eating Simba's chicken. Look at that. Stella's plate is almost clean. She gonna eat the last piece? She gonna eat the chicken? Splash is gonna eat the beef. Oh, so they really like the pieces of beef. <gasps> Simba's eating the chicken wing. I could hear him crunching on the bone. Or he was. Here, Simba, yours is here. Boo's a little bit overexcited. Is anybody going to eat the chicken wings? Is Flash going to eat it? I could give them some more of the chunked up meat, but I want to see what they do with these chicken wings. And I know I should I should have put like those wee wee pads on the floor underneath the plates. But sometimes they won't eat if I put like a a placemat underneath it.
I usually end up having to clean up the rug. And there goes Simba. There goes Simba. He's crunching on the bone. There goes Boo chewing, chewing on the chicken. Maybe Simba got scared when he heard the bones crunching. So now we're just waiting on Boo. Maybe I'll cut up some more beef and put it on their plates. I might have another shrimp for each of them too. And this is what the kittens are having for dinner. They're having this mixed raw plate and it has some raw beef on it, some raw chicken on it, and then some cooked shrimp. It actually looks kind of pretty for a plate of cat food. All right, so right now it looks like everyone is eating some food. I mean, little Eva's a little bit confused, but yeah, everyone picked a plate. Sammy likes to eat on the plate that I put down separately. But there should be something for everyone on these plates. Goldie just grabbed a piece of raw meat and took it off the plate. I knew she was going to do that. Because that's what they like to do. <laughs> Ziggy's doing the same thing. I was going to give them some pieces of the chicken wing with the bones, but I thought that they were going to do what Goldie's doing and just like drag it off somewhere and then just cause a mess with it. So I was like, I'm just going to give them the boneless meat right now. Obviously, this is not a balanced meal for cats, but this is not something that they get every day. This is just a, a holiday in honor of Stella and Boo's birthday. So we'll see what they eat. There should be something that each of them likes because there's shrimp, there's chicken, and there's beef. But they've never had a meal like this before, so, you know, they could be kind of confused by it. Oh, someone's growling. That's a good sign. Yeah, someone's growling. When they really, really like the food that I give them, then one or two of them usually growls. Go ahead, Ringo, eat the food. Look what they did. Goldie left a piece of meat on the rug. Who's growling? Do you see what Ziggy's doing? Ziggy just drags some... I don't know if that's chicken or what over there. Okay, so it looks like they're enjoying their meal. Hopefully Ringo will go back and eat. Maybe he's just waiting. I think Richard's growling. And I'm surprised Nancy's actually seeming to enjoy this. Was she going after the shrimp? Sammy does a really good job of being independent, but at the same time being part of the group. And that's one thing that I've noticed about her. Like, she's not afraid to do things on her own. Whereas, like, some of the other cats are more codependent on each other. But Sammy does have an independent streak. But she's fine being part of the group also. I'd like to give a shout out to Abril, C.R. Barboni, and Tracy Cosgrove. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. Music